Well, hi there, and good morning. I had someone write to me with a question about how to make your side hip stronger because she thought that when she was cycling, as she pedaled over the top, her knee dipped in slightly, and that can be an indicator that you're weak in your gluteus minimus and medius, those muscles that control your leg in space. So really important for healthy knees is making sure that your side hip is strong. You've got three main muscles in your butt area. You've got your big gluteus maximus and then your gluteus minimus and medius, which help with all the side movement. Okay, so I have five exercises that you can try. Pick the one that feels the best to you. And we'll start with simply the standing side leg lift. So as you lift your leg to the side, you want to make sure that you're not tilting your hips. And you're going to drive with your heel. If your toe is pointing up, you're going to feel it in your quads. That's not what we want. We want that the heel driving the movement. And you can even kick slightly back toward the wall, just slightly. You're not doing a reverse kick, but just a slight angle. Like if this is um, 12 o'clock, then that would be 1 o'clock. Just a little bit back. Okay, side leg lifts. Each side, making sure you're not swinging your hips around nice and stable. You can hang on to a wall for those. All right, next one, lying or kneeling down. I have a knee pad here. If you are don't love kneeling on the ground just yet, get a foam pad or a pillow to kneel on. And this one is the good old fire hydrant. Let me just scoot up here a little more so you can see and you're just lifting your leg out to the side. Now make sure you only lift it as high as you can without shifting your hips around. So just swing to the side and back down. And you can stay on one side, do a set of 10 or so and come back down. The longer you hold it up, the harder the exercise is. Okay, let's move down to the floor for number three. We've got our side leg lift on the floor. So this is a little bit harder than the standing because you've got gravity working against your leg. Lower leg is bent for your kickstand. You can support your head however you like. And again, you'll drive with your heel. So flex that foot and kick up with your heel. If 12 o'clock is straight up, then we're gonna go one o'clock just slightly behind. You shouldn't feel anything other than your side hip muscles working here. So here is your lying side leg lift. And then we'll move into clamshells. So both knees are bent and stacked. And all you're gonna do is rock open and closed. Rock open and closed. Rock open and closed. And there's one more to do standing, but I wanna show you this one while seated. You can take a mini band they come in different tensions. Yellow is light, green is moderate, blue is heavy, and black is extra tough. So I'm just gonna throw on the yellow here and show you how you can add some resistance to make it a little bit harder as you are doing your clamshells or your side leg lifts. I'm putting that band just below my knees. And I'm going to rock open and close. Now, if you found it that the band is slipping around, you can put it above your knees too. That's fine. Open and close. And this gives a little more challenge because you've got resistance in that clamshell. Okay. And then number five, the last one. We're going to standing here. Let me scoot that out of the way. And these are some of my favorites. You can start with the band above your knee or just below your knee. Below is a little more challenging than above. And you're going to go into this semi-squat position, the athletic ready stance. And all you do is take a step and resist as you're coming in. So when you step, you're forceful on your step out, resisting as you come together. And you can walk yourself along the floor for quite a ways and then return, make sure you're in this semi-squat position, the athletic stance. 
If this is not very challenging, you can slide that band down toward your ankles. That's going to put a little more tension on the collateral ligaments in your knees. Those are your lateral stabilizers. I like this exercise to help make those stabilizers a little more stable because we're stressing them a little bit. If it causes you pain, don't do it, of course. But if it feels good, then this is a good one to help with lateral stability as well. Side step and together. Side step and together. The other great one, this is the bonus for today for lateral stability, is your forward walk. Like your feet are on train tracks, so you're keeping them the same distance apart. You can go forward and backwards in that semi crouch athletic stance. Okay, so there are five exercises for your side hips, plus one bonus for your collateral ligaments. I hope you'll give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. You can always leave comments. All right, we'll see you soon.